Right, hello and uh, welcome to a another video on uh, the plugin custom items. Uh, today we're going to uh, have a quick look at textures and how to assign them to blocks. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, head over to Discord and uh, get the, uh, the download of the example pack. So we're going to download that. Wait, loads. We're going to download this into our Minecraft resource packs folder. Right, so we've got that now. So uh, now we need to go to our resource packs folder. So in order to do that, we're going to uh, open our Minecraft. We're going to go into options, resource packs. And as you can see, not showing up yet because we just need to. Uh, get the resource pack out so if we open the resource pack folder it'll open our resource pack folder um, you can you can find this in the uh, update of roaming.minecraft but it's, it's quicker just to get it through minecraft uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, extract this file we're going to extract it all just back to uh, where it was A minute to uh, extract. Um, I guess while it's extracting, we'll just have a quick look at. Uh, so this is the uh, Minecraft wiki for resource packs. Um, we're not going to be going into too much detail about it. Uh, I am going to review the resource pack and show you what it's got in it and base the basics of how to make your own resource pack. And then we'll uh, go in game and uh, make some resources. So, uh, is this finished yet? We'll just minimize that. Um, so this has this file has all the resource packs. Uh, it has the resource pack and it has a bunch of item files to put in game. So it's extracted it. If we go in in here. Uh, oh, I guess it's missing some files. That's not the end of the world. I'll go back in and add them in after the video is finished. So we'll just drag and drop this in here. And then hopefully if we go back in, see now it's now it's going to show us that it's available. So it says it's here for 1.14. Obviously you can say I'm using 1.15.2. So we're just going to go over that now. So we go into it so the first thing we're going to talk about is the first part of the file um, this is the pack icon so what it shows uh, as the icon uh, this is the pack MC meta file so this uh, does a couple of things um, it gives you your your description and the second part of the description so if we have a quick look at Minecraft we can see there's our description and there's there's our file name at the top there and then there's our little icon so what we're going to do is we're going to update this pack for 1.15 first so here we've got the pack format now depending on what you're using um, here is all the different pack formats so for us we're going to change the pack format to 5 so if we change the pack format to 5 and save that and then if we close that file because we're finished with that file now if we open Minecraft back up, see now it's compatible. So now we're going to put it in and press continue. And we're going to load it up and see what we've got. So if we now go into uh, our test server, we're going to add a texture to the item that we made uh, on the last video. Now you can see this is a this is a little bit of a mess because I've been messing around. So let's uh, let's just clear my inventory. Um, so if we do, so we're going to make a texture for our item that we made uh, called test pick. Uh, ah, um, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> hang on. Let's see if we can get it right. Right, 
this is the pick we made last time. Cool pick. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit. We're going to do CUI edit test pick. So if you didn't watch the last video, it's before this video. And uh, yeah, we're going to uh, use the set texture ID. We're going to click that. And we're going to press 1. So it's going to set our texture ID to 1. And then we're going to save that. And we're going to do CUI reload. Reload. Yeah, there we go. Right. Uh, we're going to go over block textures as well. But I'll show you that. Uh, so for our item textures, if we go into assets, go into Minecraft. So here's our random files here. Um, if we go into textures and item and custom, here you can see our random textures. Um, for this example, we'll probably make it a purple apple just because that's texture one. And that's just <laughs> the uh, the way I like doing it. Um, so if we go into models and then go into item, so here this is where you add your items. So if we copy diamond hoe, and then paste it, and then we're going to rename this to the same name our item has. So if we just go in Minecraft real quick and have a look at our item, if we press uh, F3H shows you the advanced tooltips um, and then here we can see our item is called minecraft double dot iron pickaxe so we're going to uh, rename our file to iron pickaxe pickaxe like that and then we're going to open this file and we're just going to leave it open there for a second we're going to go into custom and then we're going to copy this. We're going to paste it. And we're going to give it a couple of seconds. There's a lot of files in this. This is basically every single model file. So no matter what kind of what number texture you assign to it, it still can have that texture. So we're then going to rename this. And for this, we're going to just name it Diamond Pick. Now it doesn't matter. Uh, what you name this is relevant to the file that we're just about to edit so make sure you keep that in mind so if we go in here you can see all our model files we can just open a model file real quick and it'll just show you where our texture is let's close that real quick right so this is the iron pickaxe file that we opened from here from inside our uh, Assets Minecraft model item and pickaxe. So we're going to go in here and we're going to edit this. Obviously, our item, which is iron pickaxe. And then we're also going to edit this. This is, I recommend uh, Notepad for this because I'm just, I'm going to show you something really, which is really quick and assigns all the textures all at once. Um, if you want you can only you can just put one texture in like if you just if you want to just get rid of all of these and just have like the one the one line we'll just do that real quick just to show you come on There's a lot of, uh, every single texture is, uh, every single model is assigned to this one item. So if we just do that. So if you want to go through and change every single line to add every texture, you can. But if you just want to change one, um, you can just change one. Uh, this here, you need to make sure you don't have that if you're just using one. Because otherwise that... It, the texture won't work so here we're going to change this to the I pick because that's what we named the file but for this we're going to just undo and we're going to leave all them in there because I'm going to show you something which I like in notepad++ so 
So if we go here and press Control F, which is find, and then we can click replace, and we can do replace all, and it will replace all all the textures, and then we can save that. So that's our iron pickaxe assigned. So now, technically, if we put the resource pack out and then put it back in, it should assign our texture. Provided in Minecraft loads. Uh, are we loading? So to get the texture to show up, we're just going to grab another, there we go, there we go, we grabbed it, so that just shows you, there uh, look, I am pickaxe, I mean obviously it won't update for what you already have because it adds it, it adds the data, so there's our, there's our texture that we've already assigned. So we'll just do a quick overview of blocks and how to assign the block texture. So for that we're going to do slash CUI We're going to do CUI create Hang on, let's just grab block we're going to grab a uh, block of iron because that's set up in this resource pack. We're going to do slash CUI array. Uh, S iron. I'm going to call it S iron. I'm going to set up texture. I'm just going to call it 4. Save. Give ourselves the item. What did I call it? Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go into the uh, file and uh, realize it was actually diamond block that we assigned texture to already so we're just gonna edit that, not that edit sin set save so if we do reload and then grab our Assign, we can see it's assigned the texture, but we can't place it because we need to just change it so we can place it. You see how it hasn't assigned it as a block texture? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the YML file of where the item is that we've just created. So we've custom items item and we called it SIN. So in here you can see we've got a texture ID which is what we have when we hold it in our hand. But we also need to add the block texture. So if we do block double dot copy this paste it here, save, reload, there you go, that also assigns the same block, so that's how you do block textures, now obviously if you want to add something other than the uh, iron block you have to do the same, you have to copy this, paste it, change it to the name, and the same in here, copy this, paste it, change it to the name. Um, if you want to change the texture of a block, because every single 
160 of the blocks are assigned to numbers like this so you can figure out which numbers which and change them easily so if you want to change the uh, textures just go to uh, textures block custom and here's we 160 textures so you can just edit these and save them and they'll replace the blocks that you have in the game so that's kind of like a basic overview of how how it works uh, I'm probably not going to do another video of like advanced textures because it's not something which I really use because the basic textures use mushroom the advanced textures use spawners and I don't really want to get into that because it's extremely complicated um, and the same for if you want to change obviously the item textures or add item textures it's just inside texture item custom and you can just add as many textures as you want down here and uh, yeah that's about it that's the easiest way to assign the textures um, if you have any questions you can uh, leave a comment in the description if you enjoy you can uh, leave a like if you want me to go into a bit more detail about something specific like maybe item uh, like item formats like the way to display 3d items or animated textures leave a comment below and uh, i will pick that up and see what I can do for you.